Uh, today I have a knife review video on a little bit of knife history. Um, today's knife will be on this knife. Here's the front and here's the back. This is the Blackie Collins uh, Marco Comfort Grip Knife. A little bit about Blackie Collins is Blackie Collins is one of the founding fathers of pretty much the modern day knife industry as we know it. Here's a picture of Blackie Collins right here. He's one of the founding members of the American Knife Makers Guild, which is like huge. It's like the Super Bowl of knife making. Um, he started making knives in 1971. And he worked for all. He worked with all the big names. Um, in 1973, he uh, created was the founder and the um, and the editor of American Blade Magazine, which in 1984 became Blade Magazine. So he created Blade Magazine. Um, just a big, big name. In 19, uh, 1996, he was inducted to the uh, Knife Makers Guild Hall of Fame. And in 2011, sadly, he passed away in a motorcycle accident. He was the innovator of so many, so many um, knife features that you see on knives today. He was one of the pioneers of many, many of the types of knife features that you see on knives. He was one of the very, very first people to create and come up with the uh, spring assisted or the um, assisted opening knife. He was the, one of the first people to use that and it was the um, one of the first knives that he did it on was the LST uh, by Gerber which is a legendary knife and it's still being made today. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can find a vintage one and maybe do a video on it later on but it's sold millions and millions of knives. Um, that particular model of the Gerber LST folding knife. So let's get into the knife itself. Uh, the knife, here it is again. Here's the front of the knife. Here's the back of the knife. Has, has a clip. Uh, comfort grip. Um, it does have a very, very nice grip. Feels really good in the hand. It, is a, it has a rubberized handle. Um, again, it has a clip on the back of it. A little bit of skeletonizing on the blade. It has a three and a quarter inch blade, seven and three quarter inches overall, uh, 420 stainless steel uh, blade. And that's pretty much it. Um, I used to have one of these knives a few years ago, about four or five years ago I had one of these. And I gave it away to a friend. Um, I really, really liked it and I gave it as a gift to a friend. And this is my second one because I had found it and again, and I really, really wanted to add it back into my collection. So now I have another one. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, a little bit about Myrico. Is that Myrico is a company, it's very similar to, I would say, a Gerber company. Um, the uniqueness about Myrico is um, what they do is they work with knife makers, famous knife makers that are in the knife industry today and some classic guys. Um, they buy knife designs, primarily they buy knife designs from knife makers that probably normally wouldn't get made, put into production by the knife makers themselves because these guys have sketchbooks upon sketchbooks of knives that will probably never make it in production if they made them. So, what Myrico does is it, they purchase their designs and they make the knives and bring them to the market. And primarily the knives that they make are budget-friendly knives. So, you could get a knife from Blackie Collins. I've seen them make knives from Darrell Ralph, Kirby Lambert, people like that, that make really, really high-end knives that primarily out of, out of the reach of price points for people who just want to collect knives and get a knife from a very, very well-known knife maker, but they just can't afford it. So 
what Myerco does is they take the designs that would be primarily be budget friendly knives from famous makers and this is one of them um, most of what I've seen of Myerco so far is their knives can be primarily purchased for like basically under 50 bucks this particular knife right here you can get I, you can still get it um, this particular model the comfort grip I've, just, I've noticed that it's hotter and hotter to find. I don't know if this one has actually been discontinued or not. Um, but I was able to find it on the secondary market. And the packaging, if you can, you can't see it, but the plastic on the packaging is actually yellowed. So this has been in storage for a while. I don't know the previous owner, but it's actually yellowed the packaging. So it's been, been around a while. So, um, yeah, this is a really, really good knife to own. I mean, if you, want a, if you want a knife that's a really good workhorse, I mean, it's a gorgeous knife. It's partially serrated. It's a clip point. Um, it does have a thumb, thumb stud that is um, right-handed, right but the thumb stud, it looks like the thumb, thumb stud can be un, uh, moved to the other side. It can be unscrewed and moved over to the left side to make it ambidextrous. Um, again, it has a bell clip on the back, and it is tip up. Yeah, tip up the clip on the back. So, uh, really good, really good, um, no wobble, really good, um, really good lineup, um, really good, it's strong. The quality of Myrco knives, I mean, even though they're budget-friendly knives, they're really good quality, I mean... They make, their knives are pretty solid, I mean, for budget-friendly stuff. I would actually more consider Myrco if you would, to go that way. If you look at Walmart's Ozark line, which is like their, their line, um, it's kind of like that, or I would even consider it to be more like Myrco, would consider it to be more like Shrade, maybe? Yeah, and Shred's a pretty good design, um, pretty good company. And there you go. That's the um, Blackie Collins Comfort Grip Knife Folder by Myaco. And there it is. And uh, yeah, so anyway, hope you like that. I like to give it a little piece of history. And um, in my next video, I'm going to do the um, September unboxing of the Apaka box. I have it down there on the floor right next to me. I just got it. And uh, in a couple days, I'll do that video. So please like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. And uh, find your Serena Mad World. I'll see you in the next one. Later.